These are not pictures of 1970s New York when crime was rampant and graffiti covered almost every inch of the city. This is now. Lisa Guerrero reports business owners are fed up with this stuff. Buildings covered in graffiti, entire blocks defaced. New York City's trendy Soho neighborhood, which boasts some of the highest commercial rents in the world, is under siege today by graffiti. It's incredibly frustrating for us. Small business owner Joan Arada runs Modern Acupuncture, which she says has become a constant graffiti target. It just got worse and worse because now if when you look outside you can see graffiti on top of graffiti. She says she's seen a decline in business due to the graffiti. The graffiti has been a real problem for us because not only does it make the building look really awful but it makes people wonder if we're actually open and in business and it's really hurt our business. Not far away from Soho we found Mateo Chamorro spraying away under the cover of darkness. For me, doing graffiti, this is like kind of the perfect place to come and do it. Don't you get worried that you're going to get arrested or get a ticket? You're out here in public doing this. Like I said, nobody's going to get hurt. This is a NYU building, you know? I, put, yeah. I feel like NYU put this here for me because this is like a canvas for me. Graffiti is a misdemeanor in the city, punishable by a $1,000 fine. That doesn't deter Another. Mateo at all. So I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Have you ever been arrested or gotten a ticket? No. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You've been getting away with this for a long time. Yeah. For the shop owners and some of the residents, it's a big problem. Storekeepers are taking steps to stem the graffiti tide. We were there as police and volunteers helped paint it over. This is amazing. Joan is grateful for the help, but says it's only a matter of time before her store is vandalized again. As soon as we paint, then it's a clean slate. So people literally start spray painting the next day. So it's like we can never keep the building clean. 